Hello and welcome back to Rich's Home Mechanics and if this is the first time you've uh, visited my channel, welcome. Today's job we are going to be repairing a puncture on a car tyre using one of these which is called a mushroom. Let's crack on, let's get it repaired. First things first, let's find out where we've actually got the puncture on this tyre. I'm visually going to check it as we turn it round and also at the same time just running my hand slowly and gently over the sides and the middle of the tyre. Now already I've felt an obstruction, here we go, we found it. Good old wood screw, we need to get this out. Um, best way I've found to get them out is get a little pry bar, get it under the head of the nail or the screw and just give it a little twist. You don't need it much, just enough to get up from the surface of the tire and then you can get a pair of pliers or snips, whatever you've got to hand. I'm gonna use snips, get underneath it and pull it out. One important thing to remember, before I pull this out, I'm gonna put my finger very near to where the um, nail is or the screw is. Reason being, once you've pulled this out, it can be very hard sometimes to find where the puncture actually is. So we're gonna pull it out, here we go. Now we're gonna identify it. Do you remember the old push bike uh, kits you used to get? You used to get the old little yellow wax uh, crayon. There we go, well, I've identified it. Right, so we now know where that puncture is. We can put that down for now. What we need to do now is we need to, believe it or not, drill a hole where that puncture is. We need to make it bigger. Now this is the puncture repair it fit pit we're going to use. It's called a mushroom. And what we're going to do, you measure up, you want to get a drill piece which is slightly smaller than the diameter of this here. The idea is it doesn't need to be too big, it doesn't need to be sloppy, it needs to be tight. So when you pull, you'll see in a little while, when I pull this mushroom through, we want a nice snug tight fit, but not too tight that it snaps this. Right, I've already pre-done this, so I've measured up, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna drill a hole ready to take the mushroom. It's as simple as this. We've already identified it, we're going in. All right, that's the hole drilled. Now, what we need to do now, we're gonna pull the patch in in a minute, but before we put the patch in, we need to rub down the inside of the tire because quite often, as on this case, there's a ridge or there's little bits of lumps where the tire's made. We need to roughen it up. Don't need to make it perfectly smooth, but we need to roughen this up to be able to take the patch. Luckily, I've got one of these, but a bit of sandpaper of maybe 80 grit or a wire brush will do the same. You don't need it perfectly smooth, you just need to get a little bit of roughness so this patch will stick and adhesive. Here we go, just bear with me. Job done. Simple as that. Again, use a bit of sandpaper, it may take a little bit longer, but you definitely need to, if it's rough inside here with a ridge of the manufacture of the tire, you will need to rub that down or you will not make a seal. And it's as simple as this. Glue, get a little bit of glue. Right, here we go. Let's find where the puncture is. Again, how important it is to mark the tire where that puncture is. Otherwise, where is it? We know it's there. I'm gonna turn it round to there. Right at the bottom, I can now see the hole, get the glue. You need to put, so if you've got the patch, is that size, just go a little bit further, wider than the actual width for that. It's not gonna hurt. You wanna make sure this gets a nice bit of glue underneath it. So let's get some glue in there. Put the top on in a minute. Use your finger, smooth it round. Right, normally, depending on weather, you want that glue to go tacky. If you put that pouch in straight away, it may not stick. So depending on the weather, if it's in summer, within a minute, when you touch that glue, it might become very tacky. That is the ideal position and time to put this in. Do not put the patch in until that is tacky. If it still feels very wet and slimy, it's not ready. Um, obviously weather, um, if it's winter, it's gonna take longer. Right, we're gonna take on these, they have an outer, skin now this is also very sticky so try and keep your dirty hands off of this and what we're going to do now it's as simple as this we've already glued it let's find out by the mark where we are which is here and here's the glue because of the weather is warm in my garage we are ready now to put this patch in and what you do this patch is going to go in like that we are going to put this patch in from the inside 
pushing it in like this. So the mushroom is inside. So here we go. Here we go. It's as simple as this. Put the mushroom through. It's part of the wire. You get hold of the wire and you pull it through. Can you see that? I'm pulling that through. Don't go over tight. Just hold that for a few seconds. And then while you're holding it, just push the pouch in. Get your hand inside there and just rub the pouch in and make sure she's good. Give it a nice tight. Simple as that. That is your mushroom in. Some people, um, I personally prefer to leave it in this position until maybe an hour later till that pouch has gone off. But if you need to get this back on the road, there's no harm in doing it. You pull the pouch, you then get your wire cutters. Let's have a look, let's get a good view of this. And you snip as close as you can to the tire. And that, my friends, is a puncture repair done, ready to go. Me personally, I would let that go off for at least an hour. Um, obviously, if you can't, you need to get it back on, put it back on. But I personally, when I repair them, I like to leave them for an hour um, to go off. Now, that is fixed. That's ready. Um, the idea of the pouch, this bit here, is as it wears down, it, as the tyre wears down, this wears down with the tyre. Now, that tyre is now ready and repaired to go back on to the vehicle. Now, that is how... Very quickly, very simply, you can save yourself a lot of money by fixing your own punches. It's not hard. Home mechanics can do it, I can do it, you can do it. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe and follow. Thank you very much. See you on the next episode of Richard's Home Mechanics. Catch you soon. Goodbye for now.